Good afternoon, uh, Movement Snack fans. 4 p.m. Movement Snack fans. Thursday the 9th, just so we can orientate ourselves, it's four o'clock on Thursday the 9th of April. Who's in the house? Anyone? Oh, I've uh, been defeated by the sun and gorgeous weather. Thank you, Bob. Dorman extraordinaire. You're far more than a dorman to me, you know that. Come on, quick, quick. I've got some really good stuff to tell you. Come on, come on, come on. Quick. Oh, not really quick. Be steady, stand tall, and make sure you stride mindfully. Hello Italy, hello Wales. Come on, come on, come on everybody. There's a song about that. Come on everybody. All right, random. It's getting randomer and randomer by the day. 55th movement snack anniversary. Is that a thing? No. Um, come on, this is the preamble, pre-broadcast, broadcast. So you can go away, do something else, and come back in about three and a bit minutes if you want. And then we're in our calming, stretching movement snack. Is that the twist, Bob? That song I've just sung. C -c come on, everybody, let's twist. You're right. You've got the ear for it, haven't you? Gospel, have you got nothing better to do? Really? And I think this is the third time you've been in today. And George, George uh, did the, uh, this is your fourth movement snack today, George. Found some new muscles in the seated only option. <sniffs> Secret muscles hidden. Penzance Cornwall, both here. Christine Rowland, now, now I've tweaked. My mind has tweaked. Hello both. Hello the Rowlands. Lovely to have you. USA in the house. Hello, Ted. Fantastic to see you. Great to have you in this afternoon movement snack. You've joined us for the calming, stretching snack. Somerton reporting in. Thank you, Somerton. Has everyone got lovely, lovely weather? I don't know what's happening for you, Ted, over there, but we're basking in a bit of sun over here in the UK. I think it's pretty widespread. Perhaps the, uh, the snackers will tell me otherwise. Hello, Sue. Afternoon, everyone. Two minute countdown. I'm, this morning, I, I've got the perfect solution to filling these um, random minutes. She's got two. You sent lots of make movement your mission limericks this morning. That has caused lots of laughter in the house today with me and mum and dad. And I've got two I'm going to read and I'll read out another one tomorrow. They're really very good. Who else is in? I missed that. <clears throat> More Wales. Come on Wales. All right, so as we count down before I do the good afternoon bit. Two limericks, ready? Uh, this one made me laugh a lot today. It's from uh, Sheila, Sheila Cornack. I think I've pronounced that right. Maybe I can't read my writing. Are you ready? So this is a, I challenge everyone to write a limerick for this mission. There was a young, she's put young in inverted commas, there was a young woman in Parma who wouldn't let Covid alarm her. She stretched and she flexed on instructions from Bex and now she's a good deal calmer. Thank you very much, Sheila. Love it. All right, another one, ready? This is from Carol. There was a young, brackets, 73, lass from Gateshead who was feeling so quite isolated. She was starting to droop, but then found your group, so she's now feeling quite elated. Thank you, please keep them coming, Limerick fans. 
Thank you very much. Right, are we going to get going? Good afternoon. My name is Bex Townley. It's Thursday the 9th of April. This is the 4pm movement snack, our third today. That gives us 30 movement minutes in the bag. We've accumulated an extra 30 minutes today, three hours a week if you're doing tomorrow as well. The whole aim of this is to get more movement minutes. And remember, it's in addition to anything else that you're doing. We're looking to accumulate more time in standing or more active movement in sitting. So let's continue. Sit or stand options. Transition between the two if you prefer. Remember this afternoon snack now is going to focus on slow, calming, mindful but actually quite complex coordinated movements. These lots of three dimensional uh, movement planes going on very much replicate the challenges of life with head movements, trunk movements, turning and weight transfer. So we're going to do that with some stretch. Come on. So pick your position, sit or stand. You know what's coming, uh, an initial one minute circulation boost. So if it's standing, hand on for support at something that's an appropriate height for you. Just start the feet moving, get yourself going. Then go through the checks to come up a little bit taller. Are you using the ankles as much as you can? Can you bring in one or two arms or both arms? Keep going while you work through your circulation boost in standing, if that's your option. If seated is your option, hip walk forward in the chair. This will make your posture muscles more active and help you support your own, uh, your own trunk for these movements. Let's start with uh, shoulder action here, steady and controlled. You can take alternates or we can bring them together when you feel ready. Lift and open through the chest. Don't forget to drive back as well. And can you see my arms a little bit bent? Keep going if you're doing this in standing. In seated, we have the same foot action, aiming to really make the most of ankles and feet. If you're feeling that you, you're a bit flat footed, okay, that's okay, but we want to try to optimize this opportunity to get more from ankles. So can you see how I'm lifting my heels off? And when you're ready, this comes in, or it might be more comfortable for you just to bring the hands together that might help with some coordination. If things start to go wrong, this is usual. We just take a pause and set it up again. We just build it from the bottom up or from the top down. So um, in seated, hip all the way back into the chair, just before we launch into the, the main part, a little bit more ankle movement, please. So push forwards and back. A little bit more ankle preparation. That's gonna be our focus today. We're gonna to talk about weight transferring. Both legs, please, both legs, both feet. If you're doing this in stand, uh, we're after the same thing, heel toe action. And we're moving the, the leg furthest from the support. Lift up and open as you go. Change legs on here. I just spun around quite quick there, but you might want to just take your time to step round through there. Okay. At the end of that circulation boost, we should just have this feeling of, okay, I'm ready to go. At any time, if this position feels that it's tiring and you're starting to flag and sag in the middle, this is usual. It means we're just getting a little bit tired. So in sit or stand, just have a moment, have a pit stop and go again. So these muscles that hold us upright get tired the same as our legs and our arms do. Okay, so I'd like to now move into our calming three-dimensional movements and in life we need to turn our head and move our hands and transfer weight. So we're going to go through some options on this. I'm going to show you standing and then seated. So we're talking about weight shifting from one leg to the other. So for these ones, lots of hands for support, hand to the side or two here. And in standing, take your feet kind of shoulder width apart and just have your feet comfortable where they want to be. It's probably when they're a bit wider, your toes go and your knees go out a bit. And we're aiming for knees and toes to go in the same direction. This way if you need to, but I'm here so you can see. Lift up and open. And this is just a shift 
here. Can you see it's a tiny weight shift? It's really small. And can you see I'm just shifting from side to side? So I remain upright. I'm not leaning or bending. I'm just shifting the weight one to the other. And you might be feel more confident to do it here on a fixed base. Just hold that position, feel how the posture is with that open chest and just feel that sway. Keep going with that and in seated, it's the same. Hip walk forward. I've started to talk more about buttocks. So give them a good old squeeze because they're your anchors for this one and this is how we're gonna drive this movement. Feet a little bit wider, shoulder width again. You're gonna lift up and we can use a little bit of foot and a little bit of buttocks and we do the same, we shift shift so we've got a little bit of lift on one side just tiny bit i'm still in contact but i'm shifting and this is the same in stand so this is seated this is seated keep going with that and this is stand okay take a pause just a moment just have a pause have a sag i'm going to show you two options for the arms Okay, the least complex first, okay? So just arms everywhere. When you see it, just join in. So the first arm action is float up and float down, and then we change arms. Have a look. When you're ready, just join in. Hand on support if you need. These are, these are low arms, under shoulder height, and when you're ready, two. Can you see they're low and I'm lifted here? Keep going with that. In seated, it's the same. If you feel you want to come and sit down for this one, feel for the chair on the backs of your legs. Sit down with control. Set up the position. Here's the arms. Wrists in as well. Okay. If you're happy to, we're going to build in the weight transfer. So in seated, here's the shift side to side. And then when you're ready, we bring in one arm and then alternating and then both when you're ready. How does that feel? In stand, it's the same. Shift, shift. And it's slow and controlled. Take a pause. How is that? Okay. Should we try this one? Okay, so you stick with either of those, stick with either of those options. One arm, two arm, alternating, or both together. Here's, a, we've been working on this one for a couple of days. In sit or stand, I'm gonna come closer so you can see. Uh, the, the four corners of the trunk serve to give us a, just some clear reference points. And we move the hands round the trunk. So they move round one space, one space then they can move together and then we can come away and we can make them circles have a sit down for this one to try this if it's your first time so feel for the chair on the backs of the legs sit down with control set up and then work through the four corners and then when you're ready bring them into smooth circles have a go, a few more of those. In stand, it all starts to go wrong, you stop and you start again, you've got the weight shift side to side. You can bring in one circle, how's that? So you could just do this. And then you could change arms and do the other side. So can you see and feel how when we slow movement down and have it going in lots of different directions, we start to perhaps see that movement isn't always as um it doesn't have to be fast it doesn't have to be um fast pace or about strength it's just really also about control that's what we're on about here how are we doing stretch time i think yes i wanted to show you something else but i think i'll save it for tomorrow okay so that's our calming three-dimensional movements let's have a stretch now if you want to if you want to what do you want? What do you really, really want? We can continue some of this weight transfer during the upper body stretches, if you want to. Now, if you fancy that, I'm going to recommend that you do it in seated and see how you go. So pr the priority is the stretch, 
but if you feel confident and able and you want to bring this this calming kind of weight shift influence we can start to double up some things so i'm going to show you the seated options on this okay so uh, we're forward in the chair feet flat we're going to do the uh, the chest stretch let's put that on first so slide back slide back slide to here either behind or just open and shift okay so there's the stretch just the feet if you need to and then we can take the shift shift or you can take the feet offset and we can take the little hinge and back and if that stretch, if you had enough on there, you can take a little pause and then can come up again. We can put the stretch on again, plus take this weight shift. So you've got your buttock shift weight as well. So you're squeezing through the buttocks. And you might want to change side legs on there. So we're gonna take a forward and back shift, or we can do it just a side to side. How does that feel for you? So uh, just a, a new little stretch in, so just link the arms together, keep them low and just take a squeeze forward, little pause and then come back. So this is going to stretch the upper back, uh, the top of the back. So it eases out, we extend for I'm not leaning, I'm still lifted and come back. Okay, back of the arm then. Standing or sit, if you want to try the weight transfer, have a look at it and sit first. So we come to here. Here is the stretch to a point that's comfortable for you. Keep the head still. Keep supporting if you want to. We can put on again the shift if you want to, to have a shift and a hold. And then if you want to finish that off, sit still, take a lift, a couple of seconds out, and then we come down. And if you can't get all the way up there, it really doesn't matter. We can reach forwards or you can just take a, an extra squeeze here. Can you see if I just shift out of here, I get an extra stretch. Come back, change legs. So the shift as well is entirely up to you. I'm going to pick, pick it up on the other side now. Here's the back of arm stretch. We're looking to hold this 8, 12 seconds, maybe up to a little bit more, 15, 20, but the, the reach here is just a couple of seconds and then it comes back out. Have a go at that. In standing, it'll look like this. Set up the shift if you want to. There, you can have that, we can hold on. And then if you want to add the reach, you can reach and then come back, if you want to. Back of thigh stretch, please. Um, if you're going to sit down for this, feel for the chair on the backs of the legs, sit down with control. So optimise that stand to sit. There it is. Pick the position. Depends how long your legs are to, to kind of get this position right. Release the foot, or you might feel more comfortable with it flat. It really depends on quite a lot of things here. So foot flat is okay if you have the mobility but it's also okay to have it up. Unlock the knee, lift up tall, and then have you got the stretch? If so, stay here. If not, creep forwards, creep forwards, creep forwards. Hold it when you found it. Mild tension, you should feel this, this, literally feel the tension, the muscle stretching. Come out, slow, 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 release the foot. Have a little bit of that and a little bit of that. Let's go again. Other leg. Extend out. The heel is rested or the foot is flat. See how that feels for you. Release the knee a little bit so that it's not really, really locked. Come up tall first. Lengthen out of here, here. And have you got the stretch? If you have, you're in the right place. Stay there. We're looking to hold this one a little bit longer. It's such an important muscle for for walking uh, stride length and steps and stairs. So if we can hold that stretch, building up from eight, 12, 20 seconds, maybe even a little bit more. And if you feel again, you can go a little bit further. We have a little bit of a squeeze, slowly, slowly in and hold. So a stretch finds the position and stays there. Hold, hold, hold. This is how it differs from mobility. When you've reached the time, slow count in your head, or it feels you've had enough, you come back out. Slow, 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 and come in. 
Okay, uh, just calf stretch to do. Do that without me, please. It's your homework. Let me just remind you, it's just the toe coming back here or it's the heel pressing down here with the extra bit there, okay? So those are your calf stretches. Please do those uh, on your own now before we're done. That's the end of our movement snacks today. That's 30 minutes of additional movement in the bag. And we've crowbarred in some strength activity, some weight transfer, lots of mobility and some stretch across all three of these movement snacks. All of these movements will feature somewhere in your usual day. And that's what this is all about. Just to say, um, I'm aware it's a, it's a really important weekend. It's gonna be a tough weekend. Uh, and, and a very different holiday time, a festive time, an important time for us all. So wishing you all um, a great weekend and, and I am still here. I'm here Friday, Saturday, Sunday and Monday at the usual times. Appreciate there's lots of other things going on. So we will be here. Um, sorry, I'm just trying to read a comment. I think that's it. So maybe I'll see you tomorrow morning on Good Friday at 8am. Maybe not. Um, see you when I see you. We're here. Have a great time. Thank you very much, folks. Bye bye.